All right. Today, in the second installation of Discover Map and Monitor Your Cloud, we are going to be interacting with tag based services. So, as we saw in the first video as a part of this series, we discovered the cloud with our cloud account using API endpoints to bring in the data into ServiceNow CMDB through the identification and reconciliation engine. We concentrated on AWS as we will today again. Uh, when we reviewed this last time, we went over this slide in a little bit more detail. Today, I want everyone just to be concerned with the fact that when we run this discovery, we're bringing in the tags. We've already brought in the information we need in order to set up our tag based mapping categories and families. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we are in our instance. A couple things I want us to pay attention to is tag based services, but specifically for the administration of them, CI tag categories and tag based service families. For today's lesson, we are going to skip over tag base traversal rules. Before we jump into our categories, which is where we're going to start, I wanted to take a look at a standard cloud resource that comes in. And shocker, this one's going to be in one of our maps in the end. You can see that we bring in the key values here. And this key value table for the CMDB is where these tags are stored. These are the tags that we're going to use to do essentially what is fancy filtering in order to quickly build out our tag base maps. So let's go into our CI tag categories. This is where we're going to start our building blocks. We call them tag categories because they literally are categories. These aren't specific tag filters themselves. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. If we go into application service, and this might be application name. This, this category name can be whatever you want it to be, OK? When we fill out this form, what we're doing is we're putting in any key that may represent what we're going to consider, in this case, application, OK? In this case, we're going to use the example that app was used in the beginning. And then as we better handled our tag governance, we decided we were going to go to application. However, there may be another business unit that from the beginning and isn't necessarily beholden to our tag governance uses the tag key of service. So we've included all three here to be able to pick up on our older nomenclature, the newer nomenclature and the nomenclature of, of, of a group that maybe we don't interface with uh, very often, but we would still want to provide value in our maps. To add a new key, you simply double click in the row add your key name into the text field and hit the green checkbox. We have our other tag category, which is environment. And this one, we have ENV, we'll call that the original naming. And then as we developed our tagging governance, it changed to environment in this scenario. We're not going to talk about the service family from this perspective. We're actually going to go there now and walk through the standard flow of creating a tag base map. So the service family, as you might imagine, is a grouping of the categories. OK, you'll notice here that we've added both the categories that were shown earlier and the only two categories that exist for this demo. You'll notice that one of these categories actually has a tag value set for it. So what's going to happen behind the scenes here is any of the keys that we put into application service, and we had three of them, anything that matches those, the system's essentially going to pull in all those tag values. And where the tag values match a service candidate that you will or will not in bulk uh, approve as tag based maps in the end. Now, what is special about environment is we've put in here the tag value of production. So rather than it finding all the environments and pulling them all in and creating different 
service candidates for different environments and the, for those services, we're only going to pull in for production in this case. As you can see, I have quickly deleted my mapped services so that we can walk through the view service candidates UI. Now what has happened in the back end is it has essentially used that clever filtering technique to go through and we found two services that fit the criteria and that is that the environment is production and it has split up the application services through the three keys that we provided and it has decided that there are two, um, a test app one and a test app two. We can decide not to map some of these or we can decide to map all of them. Okay, we're going to map both of these for the time being. All right, so we have both of our maps here. Now, even though the filtering and the creation of the services happen very quickly, there is still a service recomputation that's happening. So in some cases, when we view the map right away, we need to be a little patient. In this case, we see that the system is populating the new tag base maps. So we are going to wait and be patient. All right, so, so the service has been recalculated. And what I actually did, if we go into the families, and you can do this as soon as you generate them, and I didn't initially, you can multi-select and recalculate service. Now, if we take a look, we have our built out service map. No patterns, no back and forth with development, just easy maps. Thank you very much.